Hi guys, it's Gaming Evangelist here. Saturday 3rd of July 2022, news broke out that Cristiano Ronaldo wants to leave Manchester United. Why does someone who joined the club to so much fanfare only 12 months ago wants out after only a year? Let's deep dive into the conversation, take a look at what might have caused this, why are big clubs rejecting him, and what are his available options. To understand this transfer saga, we need to go back in time a bit. On Tuesday 31st of August 2021, Manchester United announced that Ronaldo joined Manchester United on a two-year deal with an option to extend for a further year. Manchester United had just finished second in the 2021 season and brought in several high-profile names to the club. Varane from Real Madrid, Sancho from Borussia Dortmund and of course Ronaldo from Juventus. The goal was clear, to build on the season before and challenge the throne of Manchester City and Liverpool for the Premier League title along with making deep runs into the cup competitions and Champions League. Fast forward towards the end of the season and the 2021-22 season was an absolute disaster for Manchester United. The team lost at home to West Ham in the third round of the League Cup, they lost to Middlesbrough in the fourth round of the FA Cup, exited the Champions League in round of 16 at the hands of Atletico Madrid and finished sixth in the English Premier League with only 16 wins and a goal difference of zero. This effectively became Manchester United United's worst season since the 1989-90 season where they won only 13 games. All of this meant that Manchester United won't be playing in the next edition of the UEFA Champions League. Now let's talk about Ronaldo in order to understand this transfer saga. Cristiano Ronaldo is one of the greatest footballers of all time and the greatest goal scorer in the history of the UEFA Champions League as well as football as a whole. Along with this, he's also one of the most marketable and famous athletes on the planet. With him turning 38 next season, he has a desire to play play in the greatest club competition, a competition he happens to own in almost all major statistics that is the UEFA Champions League. Ronaldo holds the record for most matches played, most goals scored, most assists and most penalties in the Champions League along with being a five-time winner of the prestigious competition. With him being in the twilight of his career, he wants to have another crack at the competition and maybe even win it but there lies the problem that Manchester United are not qualified to play in the next edition. Not only does it prevent Ronaldo from playing in the competition but the next active football player who also happens to be his biggest perceived rival in the GOAT debate, Lionel Messi, has a chance to overtake him in all of those records. And as we all know, Ronaldo hates to be second best. A draw counts as a loss in his dictionary. He is an extremely motivated individual and has a complete winning mentality. He wants to play and compete in the Champions League and Manchester United cannot guarantee him that. In addition to playing in the Champions League, he also wants to compete for all the domestic trophies. Something again Manchester United cannot offer him because Manchester United are in a rebuild mode right now. One more reason for why he wants to leave is the lack of activity in the transfer market which is again going to hamper Manchester United's chances of competing for any trophy in the upcoming season. Both Manchester City and Liverpool have strengthened their squads even further despite already bolstering one of the strongest squads in Europe. Tottenham under Antonio Conte have also addressed all of their weak areas and are in a position to become a strong contender to the throne of Man City and Liverpool. And though Manchester United have since signed players like Christian Eriksen, Lissandro Martinez and Terrell Militia, they still need a few more players in order to compete with the likes of the other clubs I just mentioned. Cristiano is soon turning 38 and his desire is to win and compete for as many trophies as possible, something that Manchester United cannot offer as they have hit the reset button. Rebuilds take time and that's something Cristiano does not have. Now that you understand why he wants to leave, let's analyze why is he still at Manchester United then? What's preventing him from leaving? Why are clubs like Bayern Munich, Chelsea and Atletico Madrid not interested in signing a player who so happens to be the most marketable person in the world as well? It comes down to a combination of few factors, club philosophy, player wages and of course Ronaldo's age. Let's talk club philosophies first. Top coaches nowadays want their players to press the ball from the front, recover possession quickly, draw back to receive the ball and dictate play. Ronaldo is not that player anymore. Over the years, Ronaldo has changed from a step over lightning fast dribbler to a complete penalty box player who solely relies on players around him. He's not someone who would press the ball or run to recover possession. He's lethal in front of goal but nowadays managers demand a lot more than that and that is why top Champions League playing clubs around the world are passing on a chance to sign him. 
Number two is player wages. Ronaldo is one of the highest paid athletes in the world and in football. Even if he takes a significant amount of pay cut, only a handful of clubs around Europe can afford to pay his wages. And like I mentioned, those clubs either have different philosophies or want to invest in younger players, which brings me to my last point, his age. Ronaldo is 37 years old and next February he will be turning 38. As such, none of the top clubs want to invest money in a player who is in the twilight of his career and mainly is just a penalty box player. Teams are building for the future and that is why players who are yet to hit their prime are being bought for extremely high sums of money around Europe. Now we know why he wants to leave and why he is still struggling to find a club. So then let's look at what are his options for the upcoming season in my opinion. Number one, he could either go to MLS or China or Japan or Saudi Arabia and make a huge payday for the next few years and give those leagues a huge boost in popularity. We are talking shirt sales, capacity stadiums, celebrity status, packed training facilities, all to just get a glimpse of one of the greatest players in the world and legends of the game. His second option would be to stay in Europe, take a huge pay cut and go to a club that may offer him Champions League football but the club may not be one of the heavyweights of Europe. Clubs such as Sporting Lisbon, Napoli, Borussia Dortmund all fit the bill though I highly think this is unlikely. The last one and I think in my opinion what's end up gonna happen is him staying at Manchester United and playing there for another year. This is the club where he is adored by the fans and the club wants to keep him as well. He could help the club reach the top four again extend for another year and then play in the Champions League while regaining his confidence with the club supporters and the manager. With that being said, let me know in the comments what you guys think of this transfer saga and what would end up happening in your opinion. Also, let me know what you thought of this storytelling type of video where I break down news into simple chapters and present it so that it could be understood by everyone. If you want more similar content, please do subscribe and share this video with people. If you guys are into gaming, do check out my other playlists for games such as Horizon Forbidden West and Cyberpunk. Until then, have a nice day. Thank you.